everyone, it's Skylar. Welcome back to the channel. How are you all doing? I hope you're doing very well. Um, the next movie I'm reviewing, I can't actually show you the cover because it's got nudity on it. And it is seven, it's only, only 70 minutes and it is from 2016 and it's called Sex Cowboys. Um, it stars uh, Natalie Beck. Francesco Macronelli, Francesca Renzi. Sorry, I'm reading it from down here. Sorry, apologize. Um, Vito Napolato, Luca Bongiorno, Federico Rosati, um, and it is directed, written and directed by Adriano Giotti. It is actually an Italian movie with English subtitles, um, so I can't really show you it, so apologies for that. So, But I am reviewing, hang on, I can do this. I don't want to get, <laughs> there we go, there we go. That is what I'm reviewing for you guys. Sex Cowboys. <laughs> yes. So we got it there. It's only on for 70 minutes, so an hour and 10 minutes. So quite a short film. Um, so yeah. Um, if there's no nudity, I will show you the piece of the film. If there isn't, I won't be showing you anything. So yes. Very intrigued and want to watch now. So yes, I'm going to watch this. Tell you my thoughts at the end. And yeah, talk to you soon. Watching this one now. This is what it's like so far. Yeah. As you can tell, it is in Italian language, but with English subtitles. I'm enjoying this so far, so, but this is probably the only scene <laughs> that's not in nudity or anything like that, so yeah. <laughs> so yeah. <laughs> oh wow <laughs> I did not expect that at the end <laughs> so yeah this is my fourth review of Sex Cowboys yeah this is a Italian movie with English subtitles from 2016 so basically in Sex Cowboys the two main characters are Simone and Maria, uh, basically they are madly in love, have lots and lots of sex, day in, day out, so basically they end up running out of money and they decide, okay, let's sell what we do best, sex. So, basically, they borrow a camera from Beady who's the roommate, and they make um, sex tapes <laughs> and put it on the web. Um, and some of them get a little bit out of hand where it's choking, you see a lot of uniforms, uh, there's one where, oh, there's all sorts. Um, Basically, one was in a psych ward, there was a police officer, you name it, they'd done it. Um, one client asked for a bag of poop, basically, and they got $250 for that. Uh, well, €250. Euros, uh, and basically, 
one of the other ones was hey I'm gonna get extra amount of money this was is Simone he basically said um, hey I'm gonna get extra money but I've gotta have sex with a man and yep <laughs> oh you got that there was anal involved with the guy um, and Maria leaves um, but I'll, before I talk about the ending I will say this there was intercourse you could actually see it there was full frontal nudity there was uh, a little bit of penetration now this is supposed to be a soft core movie set in Italy and you get that in it as well so and obviously to get back to what I was saying because I need to put that in it um, obviously Maria wanted needs she because she was getting tired of all this webcam malarkey and she just wanted to make love to Simone he didn't want that he wanted it a bit more rough so she leaves she wasn't happy she left um, he ends up paying the landlord the rent that they owed them and he basically um, goes out with BD one night gets drunk and realises he's still in love with Maria and he goes and finds Maria's mate, Maria a mate, and she basically said she doesn't want to be here anymore, she doesn't want to be in Rome, she needs to get away, she's not happy. So in the end, Simone and Maria, um, they find each other again, and he goes, I fixed the bike. This is the bit where I'm trying to talk about this is this ending was epic. So I have to talk about this quickly. Um and she goes, I don't want the bike. I said, I'm not love I said, just don't want a bike, go away, leave me alone, sort of thing. And he and Simone Simone goes, Okay, fuck the bike. I love you more. Literally opens up the petrol tank, stuffs like a towel in, burns the towel. He runs off, kisses Maria, and the next thing, boom, the bike explodes. I did not expect that to happen. I had to spoil it. So you get to understand why the fuck I was watching this film. Um, Basically, the end of going on top of a bus, making out the end. <laughs> that's the gist of the movie this blew my fucking mind um, so my thoughts on this I was like there was only like about I'd say about four scenes in this entire movie they had fucking clothes on I was just in shock <laughs> at some of the stuff that they were doing I'm realising that they were actually having intercourse on a movie. I know there's only been like a few other movies that that's happened, but this was like you could see and you 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 knew that that was I was like that boom. But I will say this: one good point about this movie, the timing of this was spot on. If you would have done this movie any longer, it would have been a pile of shit. 70 minutes, an hour and 10 minutes, perfect for this movie. No less, no more, spot on for the movie. Uh, I was, this is the thing, the movie didn't freak me out. I was just like kind of sort of expected it was going to be a bit about sex I didn't realise how much sex we were going to get in this film it blew my mind like it's not this is the thing, it's not a horror it's more like a rom-com porno 
that's what I would say. It's a romantic comedy porno. That's what I see with this movie. And it gets a little bit more explicit and explicit and explicit. And I don't know how this passed for an 18. I really, really couldn't. Because this was... It had strong, full-on sex, nudity. And I'm even surprised that it passed for an 18. Because you saw the action. You saw... <clears throat> you saw them doing it and you can see it going in and out. And I was like, holy shit. <laughs> For a movie to be like that, I'm still like, okay, I've just, I've just watched two people just actually having sex in a movie. In many, many scenes, so it just literally <clears throat> blew my mind. But, other than that, the story was brilliantly played out. Uh, from start to finish, even though it was mainly about sex. <laughs> but it did, I will say, it did have a good story be between Simone and Maria and how they are in love, and it just shows how what they're like in love, having <laughs> sex every day. <laughs> yep, yeah, that's all I can say because that's what it was about. So, my rating for this. I can't give it a 10, I can't give it a 1, <laughs> I can't give it a 0, and I can't give it a 5. Uh, and I can't give it a 9. And I can't give it a 6. And I can't give it an 8. So I'll have to give it a 7. I'm going to leave it in the middle <laughs> and just give it a 7 out of 10. Because it did give me a story... It basically told me on the synopsis what was going to happen in the film. It did happen in the film. And you got full on fucking intercourse in the movie. In so many different ways. But it did tell that little story. And the, what I did like about it, the runtime as well. 70 minutes, spot on for this film. And that ending, where he blew up the bike. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. So, yeah. <laughs> I can't say anymore. Uh, would I recommend this? If you want to watch a full-on, blown-on, full-on sex intercourse where you see the dick going in and out, you see vagina, you see it going in somebody's butt, you name it. <laughs> God, if you want to watch it, you can watch it. That's all I'm saying. I, I can't I can't say whether it's one that you would want to watch or it'd be recommended, but it got, it had a lot of frost in it as well. So, yeah. The only thing that, that it didn't have, which I understand, was it didn't have a BJ. But it had everything else in it, so, yeah. I'll just leave it at that. I don't know whether I can recommend this to you guys or what, but yeah, it blew my mind. This blew my mind. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. So anyway, this was a different sort of review, which I'm hoping you guys would like. So I can't, I can't even do my data with the end of it. I just don't know what else to say. Um, okay, I'll just see you later. <laughs> Ta-ta for now.